it's Haley, and today I'm going to be talking about different YA cover conventions. So when you read a lot of YA, you realize that there are some things that publishers do to covers a lot in YA. Like, there are certain conventions that you see on all sorts of covers. You see them repeated again and again and again, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just think it's funny, so we're just going to be kind of looking at some different covers and seeing what conventions they fall into. I don't really know how I'm going to film this video yet. I'm kind of just like doing it as I go along, figuring out, but yeah, I don't know. Let's just get into it and see how it goes. So convention number one is cloaks. Everyone has a cloak. Where do you get a cloak? Everyone has a cloak. Hunted, Megan Spooner, cloak. Star Touch Queen, there's a cloak up there. Wind Witch, that's a big old cloak. Some of these are actually gonna overlap because they fit into other things, but let's see, I know there's another one where we have a cloak, aha. The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. That is a cloak. And whenever they have a cloak, they have a knife. Like they have like a sword and they're like, it's all fantasy novels. They always have cloaks. I don't get it. It's just all of these different cloaks. Where else? I know Fallen Kingdoms. Yeah, Fallen Kingdoms. He's got two swords. He's putting it to the next level. Two swords and a cloak. And you never see their faces. You hardly ever see their faces, but that's another point entirely that I will get to. Oh my god, where else do we have cloaks? Scythe, Neil Schusterman. This one is just graphics, but cloak and scythe, which is basically a giant sword, so it counts. Moving on to convention number two, this one is probably the easiest, but dresses. There are so many girls in these beautiful dresses. Sometimes it's done right, sometimes it's done wrong. This one is done right, I think, but the selection is like a big culprit for this, but there are literally a million examples. Like, now I can't find them, of course, because that's how life works. We've got two right here. Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear and Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Todd. She's really tiny, but she still has a dress on. Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers is like a cloak dress thing, and she has like a, is it called a scabbard? The thing with the like, that thing? What is that called? I can't think of it right now. I think it's a scabbard. I don't know, but she has like a cloak dress thing, so she's combining two conventions. Kiss of Deception, dress, and she's doing the thing. No one has a face. Like, everyone is just like, oh, I'm in this dress and I can't look at you, like, all the time. And she's, I understand this because they don't want you to, like, it allows you to imagine the characters as you want to, but I don't know, I like seeing a face sometimes. The Winner's Curse, dress, again, and pretty fun, but dress. Oh my god, this one is another convention, okay? We have people reaching for each other all the time like they just can't it's like they're God and Adam on the ceiling of I think it's the Sistine Chapel but like they can't quite get to each other all the time and all the books in this series have it and there are more but I, I can't think of them right now what are the other ones I know that this one is also a convention it's just like oh you're so far you're so close but you're so far now I'm just kind of going on my shelf and finding the books that have different conventions but another convention especially with dystopian novels is symbols they always have a symbol like, this one is so easy. Where's Divergent? Divergent, where are you at? Where are you at? Oh my god, where? Ah, Divergent, Divergent. Symbol! Where's Hunger Games? Hunger Games is gonna be down here. Hunger Games, Hunger Games. Mockingjay, Symbol! What else? What else do we got? Legend, Legend by Marie Lu. Where are you? Right here. Symbol! All of them have symbols! Dress! Again! A dress! Now this is a really bad example of this convention because I don't think this one is all that bad, but I generally hate books that have this cover, but it's like the court, the sort of obsidian thing where you have like the girl and guy and they're embracing and it's like, ugh, like who embraces that much and that intensely? Like come on now! Once again this is kind of a bad example, but no one has a full head. Like her head is cut off halfway, like no one has a full head. There's so many that it's just like their torso and I don't get it. Here's another reaching one. See, I'm not just making it up. This one is also reaching. Another thing is people like standing on rocks or the people being really tiny at the top. That happens a lot as well. I really don't want to destroy my shelves. So those are the only ones I'm going to talk about today. But let me know what conventions you guys have noticed in your perusal of your own shelves and what covers you have on there. I just think it's funny that they like 
like kind of repeat the same thing but in a different version it's totally not bad some of these covers are really beautiful and I do really enjoy them but at the same time I just think it's really funny so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit different a little bit scattered I don't really know how it's gonna turn out but I'm hoping it's good so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one bye